So I thought I would just uh, take a minute and show you guys where I've been recording music at lately. Uh, this is where I recorded Hal, and this is also where I'm going to be recording the stuff I'm doing coming up here. I have no real plans to go to a studio anytime soon, um, anything like that. I uh, don't want to record really on that level. I just want to do some down-home kind of acoustic recordings. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm in my garage. This is actually... Um, this is actually where I recorded, uh, the kind of like really, really lo-fi Hal record. And at the same time I was recording it, uh, on this cell phone that I'm holding right now, I recorded, I recorded the, the videos, uh, at the same time. So I got like a cell phone mix for the record, which is funny. Um, now I'm moving on to recording some, uh, new music um, and I just wanted to kind of show you some of the stuff I was using to do it. A little tripod for camera, a little mic stand with a little uh, shock mount. Um, that actually is a uh, uh, just a simple little uh, MXL uh, condenser mic. I was going to use this condenser mic. It has a pretty good sound. I used this uh, when I was recording Ups and Downs of Sunset. It has a pretty good sound. Um, but I'll tell you what happened. Um, so I started uh, kind of toying around with, with that. Um, and then the other thing I started kind of toying around with was just recording a little bit on this little guy, which was um, DP01 Effects. This is just a 8-track. Um, just a just an eight track recorder. This is something that I used uh, to record 144. I use this to record. Um, I use this to record ups and downs of sunset. I actually have a whole uh, acoustic rehearsal that was still on here from years ago when I recorded ups and downs of sunset. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna I'm gonna get that uploaded for people to hear. Um, but. Uh, I was missing a data cord for this, so I ordered the data cord, and I'll get that. I'll get that uh, up online once I have it. It sounds actually really, really cool. I think I recorded it with the MXL and this little guy here, and it was just a simple rehearsal. Um, but uh, then, just a little, uh, you know, stool. There's the Alvarez. I'll open the Alvarez up, and I'll show you. Here's the Martin. Um, my other gear is up there, packed away. Uh, I'm not doing a lot of uh, I'm not doing a lot of electric stuff right now. Just simple acoustic records for cassette decks and coliseums. Just a simple uh, desk lamp uh, mounted upside down. Um, and what happened was, okay, so this I, I felt like it was just too much, right? It's too much for where I'm at right now with music, and also it's kind of like using a cannon for uh, a slingshot fight, right? Uh, because I want to do simple acoustic records. So I picked this little guy up. This is a Zoom H1. Um, those are two little condenser mics on there. And I can get pretty good sound quality with this. And this is a lot easier to transfer uh, tracks from uh, here to uh, my computer. So it, it just works for me where I'm at right now. This makes more sense. Like, I want to get music out to the world, but, um, like, the DP-01, it just becomes a barrier to entry at some point uh, because uh, it's kind of a lot of trouble to, you know, lay all the tracks down on this and then transfer them over to my computer, which is in the house. Um, and, and the thing about it is, man, I remember, like, I remember being, you know, younger and like, man, I was like obsessed with music and like I had no problem doing that. I'd be up all night recording elaborate tracks, putting stuff together. And, you know, some people would say, oh, you were passionate. You've lost your passion for music. It's not really true. I still love music. I'm very passionate about music. Um, but I've lost some of that obsession that I had for music to where the, the, whatever that is that'll make me stay up all night long working on stuff, then lugging in the house, 
mixing it down, spending hours mixing it down, everything. Um, I, I don't want to do that anymore. So it's become a barrier to entry. And like for me to get music out there to the world, like it's better for me to be able to, I need to be able to record it quickly, um, lay the music down and, uh, and be able to get it out there to people. And like, like to me, that just, it makes more sense. That's just where I'm at. And it, maybe I'll get to a place where I'm like, I got to record something really complicated and I want all the bells and whistles and I want it very elaborate. It's going to be a big production. Maybe I'll get to where that is going to happen, but cassette decks and coliseums isn't really meant to be that. It's meant to be, just be, you know, simple acoustic recordings. Um, so for me, like I wanted to uh, use something that would allow me to do that easier. And the, H, the Zoom H1 is, is good for that. Um, what else did I tell you? Oh, let me show you uh, the guitars. This is uh, the Martin. Uh, this is the Martin. That's a DX1 KAE. Solid spruce top. Pretty good. Pretty cool guitar. Has a nice sound. I was very proud of it when I got it. I think I paid like... Five or six hundred for this one. Um, not the best of lighting. But that's that one. I didn't record any of the music on how with this guitar. Um, it wasn't the sound I was going for. Um, what I did record how on was this guy here, which is an Alvarez rd20u and it has got a cheaper guitar sound um this one has really dead strings so uh it, it had that really kind of like kind of a kind of a cheap dead you know guitar sound which is exactly man i don't know what it is it, it was just really easy to write on this guitar for me um so I don't know. I I really uh, enjoyed uh, writing that record on this guitar. So I don't know which one I'm going to be using um, more going forward. Um, it was nice to come back to this one because you know when I first got the other one, it was like, oh, how could I use the Alvarez? I got this. So, I got this, such a nice guitar here. There's no reason for me to use the other one. It's not really true. I mean, they both have different sounds, and they both do different things to me. So. Uh, it just kind of depends on what you're trying to do. I had this tuned a half step down uh, while I was recording how. So that was always fun. Uh, this one here is tuned to standard right now. And, you know, what I want to do, guys, is moving forward, I'd like to try writing. I want to challenge myself and write some songs that are a little bit more motivational, a little bit more positive, and a little bit less... Uh, you know, vague, like a little bit less like, Hey, what's that song about? I don't understand what the song's about. I can't relate to the song cause I don't know what it's about. I don't get it. Um, I want to try to write songs that are a little bit more, a little easier to understand for people a little bit more, um, you know, just relatable, right? Just a little bit more relatable, a little bit more in your face when it comes to like what the song's about. Um, and I think, you know, it's easy to write songs that are, you know, for you, you know, but they're also, you could, you could argue that they're also a little bit selfish of an endeavor, you know, it's one thing to say, well, I write music for myself. It's, you know, like cathartic or whatever. Uh, and then it's another thing to say, well, I wrote this song to, you know, inspire people or to motivate them in tough times or whatever. And I think like for me, I would really like to try to, you know, write some songs that are a little less vague and maybe do something to inspire people and to motivate people in tough times, right? That That's kind of like what I'm kind of challenging myself to do a little bit more of uh, in, the, in the days, weeks, and months ahead here. So, um, anyways, guys, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jam a little bit on my guitar and, uh, see if I can, uh, you know, write a couple things. And, uh, anyways, I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys and let you know what I'm doing and, uh, 
you know, where I've been recording music at. And uh, hope you guys are all doing awesome out there. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, everybody. I need to find a way through this COVID-19 Blues in the state of the day You never can tell How your life is gonna change